So today is the day I'm going to the event that I told you guys about. I just finished doing an interview for my podcast and YouTube channel with Abina from Beanie TV. I'm about to go pick up my outfit. It should be ready at 12. So I'm and return this foundation because I bought this foundation. It's foundation everybody's been raving about. I do like it, but I noticed that like my skin got super oily, like super, super oily through the day, even though I love the coverage initially. Like I just can't, I'm not trying to look super shiny today. To get eyebrows done, waxing, and then I'm gonna come back and get dressed and my Uber ride will be here at two o'clock. So I have like two and a half hours to do all of that. Um, I'm really excited. I'm also a little like nervous. I'm yeah, so I am going to do all of that stuff and I will be back later to show you guys what my outfit is looking like and also to tell you a little bit more about the event. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I am about to speed get ready because I literally have one hour. And uh, I don't look like it takes me much longer than an hour to do my makeup. So I am about to speed. she pulled she pulled through I don't I don't know what went wrong but something went wrong okay guys so see on camera my makeup looks fine but in person it looks a bit dark um so I ended up changing my outfit I'll put a clip in of what I was going to wear decided to not wear that if I don't know I just don't I'm not feeling it today for some reason even though yesterday I loved it but today I'm not feeling it so I'm gonna save that outfit for something else and I decided to go with something a little more casual. As you can see, I on a denim jacket. So it was like kind of casual, but like still a little dressy at the same time. But yeah, that's the look. I'll show you guys my whole outfit. So this is my outfit. I decided to go the comfy, cute route. I have on this jumper that I got from Buffalo Exchange. It's um, strapless. And then I have on my ankle sock boots and go watch gold earrings, afro, red lip, the usual. And um, I'm just gonna grab my black bag. And yeah, that's it. So I'm just waiting for the ride to get here and I'll see you guys when I get there. experienced and how do you shift that conversation how do you change that for yourself that's a tough conversation i think we all have days when we wake up and we're like Ugh, we have so many negative thoughts and you know we're in times of social media and there's a lot of external factors that affect us daily and what people say, although we want to portray like they don't bother us, they kind of like, like they a jump deck. They like, they poke at you. So I try every day when I struggle because I have days of struggle. You know, I'm confident, but I, I am still working on my self-esteem as a woman. Uh, looking at myself in the mirror and saying, this is what you have. You're beautiful within. Anything else outside is physical. It's material, it's superficial. The way you treat others, the way you connect with others is more of an impact than anything else. Yeah.
Wow, Sierra, you're so short and skinny. I don't think that was really nice of you to say, Jacob. I mean, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I feel like we should have said that to you, especially seeing that your reaction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Hold on. Whose story was this? That was your story. And so obviously it was a boy named Jacob. <laughs> What I noticed about this is that you wrote an ending where somebody also acknowledged how you felt or how you reacted to something. Did you wish that would have happened the first time? Tell me a little bit more about that. Why you rewrote it that way? Because they really hurt my feelings, but the, they like made me stronger in a way. Like them like saying bad things about me made me realize who like what I who I truly am. Yeah. And who's around you, right? Yes. And like, Who's, like, real to me, like, who's my best, like, bestest friends? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. Yes, I just wanted to hop on here and close out the vlog. I am officially home, and I had a great time. Um, I'm just so grateful that I had the opportunity to go, to meet the young women, to speak with them, to encourage them and empower them. It was a really, really awesome event, and I just feel so grateful that I was able to attend um, as always, I want to come and just share a little bit of insight that I take away from these events in hopes that they can inspire you on your journey. And something that I noticed today with a few of the women that was there, there was one woman from the show on Just the New Black. Um, I can't remember her name at the moment, but she's the Latina woman. And it wasn't even so much what she said. It was just her posture, the way she carried herself, and also... The host of the event um, also can't remember her name I'm so bad with names but both of these women just had this this aura to them and I was able to chat with the host and I told her that you know like whenever I feel that urge to just go and compliment somebody I do even if I don't have anything else to say even if I'm not trying to take a photo if I'm just like you're dope and I just wanted to tell you that I think it's so important to pour into other women and um so yeah, I went over to her and I just told her, you know, that I thought she was amazing and just to continue doing her and being her because it's inspiring. And same for the woman from the show, Aren't Just the New Black. Um, just because like, I think sometimes we don't realize that us standing in the fullness of who we are, being confident, being secure, being ourselves, really does inspire other people. Like other people are watching and paying attention to how you're carrying yourself, how you're presenting yourself, how you're speaking about yourself and about other people. And it really does impact the people around you, especially being at an event with so many young women today. That was just like a really gentle reminder of just to be aware of how I'm carrying myself, how I'm showing up in the world. And um, yeah, I just felt really inspired by that. So like I said, the event was awesome. I'm very tired and my hair is just a mess, but um, I'm going to sleep tonight. I will deal with this tomorrow. That's it guys, good night. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and comment down below and let me know what is a new thing that you've learned recently on your soul beauty journey? What is one thing that you have experienced or something that has kind of like inspired you on this journey? And I can't wait to hear from you guys down in the comment sections. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, head over to my website, soulbeautychat.com and sign up to learn more about the six week group coaching program from fear to faith. In this program, I'll be teaching you exactly how you can stop living a life in fear and finally start walking in your purpose.